Hello friends, family and anglers alike and welcome back to another Rickles Fisher video. As you can see we are in town, we're just at a launch and we are fishing the mighty NSR today. I wish I was filming because I just caught this brown trout but I did not uh, get any video of it unfortunately. But I'm just waiting for my friend Kyle to get here and we'll show you his cool watercraft that he just got I believe. So pretty exciting, I'm excited to get out jetting on the river and hopefully find some trout and some whitefish, maybe even walleye, pike today. Who knows, it's exciting. There's tons of species that could be in this section and there's a lot of river to fish, so let's see what happens. I'm hooked up on another brownie. Okay, this might be a good day. I haven't even met up with Buddy that we're going on a float with and I've already caught two browns. Beauty. This one's good size too. I'm gonna release it. Gently in the water here. Bring this bad boy in. Beauty. And release. Alright. This is Mr. Steven's sick unit. What can you tell me about this thing? Uh, not much yet. <laughs> not much yet? No. 12 foot or what? And the motor is a Yamaha four-stroke. Sick. So we're going to take this bad boy out into the Riviera here. And hopefully catch some more brown trout and some other species as well. Just getting ready to launch now. Oh, I am excited. I'll see you guys when we're flying through the water next. Nice. Okay. Oh, what new one? So our plan was to jet upstream the North Saskatchewan River and meet the mouth of another river and then we're just going to do a small stretch of that river, come back down to the main river and check out some spots on the North Saskatchewan River. It's going to be an adventure filled day and uh, an exciting one. I'm going to split this one into two parts just because there's so much footage. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. This should be a fun one. Fishy! Was that a fishy? Oh, I don't know if I still got him. I think he got away unless he's tiny. He got away. Went and took off too early. Ooh, that's good. Maybe it was the same one I just had. <laughs> Turned over to yours. It's like, hey. <laughs> yeah. That looks juicy too. I'm eating all these things. Yeah. This is exciting. I've not really done anything like this before. I'm trying to get uh, something good for floating some some rivers this year. I would like like a 10 foot John boat aluminum one that's super light. I think that'd be sweet for floating rivers with. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just not a big inflatable guy. I've ruined too many of them through the years. Yeah, but ones like these that have like good solid walls. Oh. Yeah, that's true. I'm sure, they probably are. No, like I get like no, no sea hawk and that. I'm not. I always want to get on the top like that. No. Great one. I got that in all guys. Yeah, I've ran like ones a little bit better than the Seahawks, but yeah, no, I'm sure if you spend the extra money, it's probably the reliability factors. Oh, there's a fish. See him? Oh, he, he's still there. Oh, he smoked it right by the boat. Is that a brown? That's another brownie, yeah. Cool. I think my camera was too high to pick him up, but that was cool. A little trolling. A little river troll. I caught a brown troll in the boat river. Yeah? Trolling. Trolling on the river. The North Saskatchewan River is going to take us away. It's, getting ready to it's trying to take us away when we're trying to go the other way. Oh, oh, one chased it right up. It was just about to hit it. Huh? One, uh, I think it was a brownie chased it right up. 
one of them brown trouts. He was very close to biting it. He pushed me to put it Oh, he was, he was nosing it. There's one. Oh, I lost it. Damn. Thought it was big, but it was just fighting in the current. I think it might be that same brown that was really considering it before, and <laughs> he made up his mind. He still got him? Be cool to see a big old uh, bully chasing it. It is a bully. It's an Arctic grayling. <laughs> One of them grayling. Brown frizzle. Okay. No biggie. Uh, how you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Great start to the float. Peace. I guess it's not really a float, it's more of a jetting session. So if your were if your motor were not to start and you went into that NSR there, that might not be the greatest situation, eh? Uh? If your motor like didn't start for some reason and you went into the NSR. Yeah, it would be good. Wouldn't be that great. So we traveled upstream for a short section checking out the river along the way. For the most part it was pretty shallow and uh, wide and there wasn't a lot of structure but we did find the odd deep hole that we planned to hit on the way back. It was sure neat to see this river from this perspective though. I've only walked sections of it and I would never be able to walk this far in the day. Shortly after the first bridge, this was the end of the line for us. Progress. See if we can spot him again. See that guy? You gonna get him? Yeah, right there. Cast on him. Uh huh. Cast on him, right there, right there. Is that him? Yeah. It may be. Yeah, it's moving. We're gonna go right on top of him. Here, I'll cast that up. Right beside us. Oh, he hit it! Alright. He's right there! See him? Right, right beside the boat. He's chasing it in still. He doesn't even care about the motor. Are you serious? That fish did not even care. He's under the boat right now. Really? Yeah, come on! <laughs> <laughs> and he hit it right beside the boat. Like when I was like, he's right beside it. He was right beside it. So that is going to be it for part one of two of jetting the North Saskatchewan River. Make sure to stay tuned for part two very soon. We get back into the big river and we start catching some fish. Here's a sneak peek. There you go. That's got to be a big one, eh? Uh...